Are you looking for the best gaming monitor? In this video we're going to be checking out another best gaming monitor which is the Acer 15282 KKV. We will compare it against similar and newer gaming displays in terms of image quality, performance, design, and value for the price. If you want more information and updated pricing on the product mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. Okay, so let's get to the video. Let's talk about image quality. The Acer Nitro 15282KKV is based on the M280 DCA-E7 BIPS panel by Inelix. This new panel features decreased emission of the harmful low blue light even when not using the dedicated low blue light picture mode. The blue light peak wavelengths are shifted from 450 nanometers to 460 nanometers, so, you get less harmful blue lights without compromising color accuracy. The 15282 KKV, therefore, has the new iSafe certification by Tuv Rhineland. Other panel-related specifications include the common IPS qualities, such as the 178 degrees wide viewing angles as well as accurate, consistent, and rich color reproduction with a wide 90% DCI-P3 gamut coverage. The monitor is also factory calibrated and features an sRGB emulation mode with adjustable brightness should you want to restrict its native approximately 120% sRGB gamut to approximately 100%. In fact, there are several color modes available under the color space, setting in the OSD, on-screen display, menu, including sRGB, Rec.709, HDR, DCI, EBU, and SMPTEC. Dithered 10-bit color depth is supported, 8-bit plus 2-bit FRC, for 1.07 billion colors, with 12-bit also being an option over HDMI 2.1 through the use of additional dithering. The contrast ratio amounts to 1000 by 1 as expected from IPS technology, while the peak brightness goes up to 400 nits for HDR content and 300 nits for SDR. To unlock the monitor's maximum brightness capability, set the max brightness option to on, Otherwise, you'll be limited to approximately 150 nits. Even though the monitor has VESA's entry-level display HDR400 certification, it has an 8-zone local dimming solution, which can improve the HDR viewing experience in some scenes. To enable HDR, you'll need to set HDR in the OSD menu to either Auto or HDR400, as it's set to Off by default. Either way, HDR is not the main selling point of the Acer 15282 KKV. Some scenes will look better, some will look pretty much the same, so you can think of it as a bonus feature. Don't expect a particularly meaningful HDR viewing experience. Let's move on to the performance. The Acer 15282 KKV monitor has low input lag of just approximately 4 milliseconds, so you won't be able to notice or feel any delays. It also boasts a fast 1 millisecond GTG pixel response time speed for no visible trailing behind fast moving objects. There are three response time overdrive modes, off, normal, and extreme. The extreme mode has too much inverse ghosting as it pushes the pixels to change too fast thus causing overshoot, whereas the off and normal modes perform the same. At 120Hz and 144Hz, there's no noticeable ghosting or overshoot when using either off or normal overdrive mode. However, if you are using a variable refresh rate, VRR, such as AMD's FreeSync Premium, NVIDIA's G-Sync compatible, or HDMI 2.1 VRR, and your frame rate is around 60fps, which dynamically changes the refresh rate to 60Hz to prevent tearing some overshoot will be noticeable. This is a bit disappointing considering that many games will run at tilde 60fps due to how demanding the 4K UHD resolution is. So, at low frame rates, you'll have to choose between getting some inverse ghosting, or some screen tearing, with VRR disabled. The amount of visible overshoot will vary on the scene and game, but in most cases, it's tolerable or negligible, depending on your sensitivity to it. While the monitor is not officially certified as G-Sync compatible by NVIDIA, VRR works without any issues with both compatible AMD and NVIDIA cards within the supported 48 to 144 Hz range. When using VRR via HDMI 2.1, either with PS5 or compatible NVIDIA GPU, you can actually change the overdrive setting, but since there's no difference between off and normal, it's pointless. To unlock the HDMI 2.1 capabilities, make sure to set HDMI 2.1 feet to on in the OSD menu as it's disabled by default. The 4K UHD resolution results in a high pixel density of 157 ppi, pixels per inch, on the 28-inch screen of the Acer 15282 KKV. 
you get plenty of screen space as well as crystal clear details and text. Some IPS glow and backlight bleeding was noticeable, but nothing too extreme. This also varies across different units of monitors, so your mileage may vary. Let's get into the features, the Acer Nitro 15282K KVHDMI 2.1 monitor also supports motion blur reduction via the Visual Response Boost, VRB, feature that uses backlight strobing in order to reduce the perceived motion blur. It can only be activated at a fixed 120Hz or 144Hz refresh rate, and it reduces the maximum brightness while active. There are two modes, normal and extreme, with different brightness settings. Extreme makes the image darker, but fast-paced motion is clearer. At the rear of the monitor, there's a power button, three hotkeys, can be assigned to different shortcuts, and a directional joystick for navigation through the OSD menu. There are various picture presets available, including three customizable game modes, user, standard, eco, graphics, and HDR. In addition to the standard image adjustment tools, brightness, contrast, sharpness, color temperature, input source, etc., you'll also find advanced settings, such as gamma presets, grayscale, and six-axis hue, saturation. Useful gaming features include black boost, improves visibility in darker games, custom crosshair overlays, and a refresh rate tracker. The Acer 15282KKV also has an integrated sensor that can automatically adjust brightness, light sense, and color temperature, color sense, according to ambient lighting. It can also automatically dim the screen or make the monitor go into the power saving mode if it detects that there's nobody in front of screen, proxy sense. The backlight of the monitor is flicker-free, which in addition to the iSafe certification and four low blue light filter modes ensures a comfortable viewing experience even after prolonged use, unless VRB is enabled. It's time to talk about design and connectivity. The stand of the monitor offers full ergonomic support with up to 130mm height adjustment, 90 degrees pivot, plus or minus 180 degrees swivel, minus 5 degrees, 35 degrees tilt, and 100 by 100 millimeters visa mount compatibility. The screen has a light matte anti-glare coating that prevents reflections without making the picture too grainy. Connectivity options include two HDMI 2.1 ports, DisplayPort 1.4 with DSC, USB-C, DP 1.4 alt mode and 65W power delivery, a quad USB 3.0 hub, a headphone jack, dual 2W integrated speakers, and a KVM switch. Our opinion, the Acer 15282KKV is an overall excellent gaming monitor with vibrant colors, crisp details and smooth performance, apart from some overshot at lower FPS with VRR enabled. Since LG's model offers better performance and image quality at the same price, we highly recommend it over the 15282KKV if you can find it in stock. Thanks for watching the video. If you find this video helpful please help out the channel by giving this video a like or subscribe the channel and tell us which product caught your eye in the comments below.